Hi, this is Amy at Amy's Free Motion Quilting Adventures. You can find my blog at freemotionquiltingadventures.blogspot.com and I am just showing off um, my new rulers that I got from Accents in Design. These are called the Fine Line Rulers and I have done ruler work on my machine before uh, without these rulers but uh, this company does promote these rulers for using on domestic machines which is something I hadn't seen anybody else doing and so I thought I'd try them and I think I'm really liking them I'm not too sure that I'm really using the pegs as much as uh, maybe I ought to maybe that's just because I'm used to using other rulers so I'm used to having my hand flat on the ruler um, these are some larger rulers. This is the uh, curved ruler for cross hatching. I believe it's the medium size. Um, and it's big enough. I can hold it with both hands. So I'm not really using the pegs too much to hold the ruler still. Um, but if you see this white line here on the ruler, that is some Velcro, the hook side of Velcro, and this thing does not slip around. I haven't had any trouble with it sliding around. The pegs seem to be very firmly attached. They are not too tall for using around my Janome 6600, which I was a little concerned with when I did order them. Uh, and because the pegs are right in the center of the ruler tool, uh, they don't get up in the way of my free motion foot. Um, they're not in the workspace like I was afraid they would be. Um, I'm still not real comfortable holding this ruler yet. Here I've gotten to the end of doing the first rows of some parallel stitching for cross hatching. And I'm just going to follow my frame line here where I've outlined until I get back over to where. I can finish this line and then turn the work, start crossing my lines. The lines that are cut into the ruler are very nicely done. Everything's nice and smooth and easy to see. I'm going to come up here. I think I have to get one little more line in here to finish these curves. I'm not going to go down and finish the other end just because that's too much work to do right now. We'll come back to it and in fact, you can't see it right now. Um, it won't even show. So I'm going to turn my piece around. Let's see. Just a little there. Uh, one thing I don't like about the 6600 is there is a uh, attachment back here for the AccuFeed foot and it does get in the way of ruler work. So I have to make sure that my ruler is not going behind the foot. Otherwise, I really enjoy this machine for doing this, using this particular foot. This foot is part of the free motion, free motion, yeah, the convertible free motion foot set for Genomi Memory Craft machines. Uh, this is a high shank foot set. It also comes. Um, for Janome's low shank machines. I really like this foot. The free motion toe itself for ruler work right here uh, comes with a foot set that is designed for the 1600 and I have had a couple of comments from uh, readers who have said that their Janome dealer said they can't use this toe on their sewing machine because it's not the 1600 and the toe is packaged for the 1600 and I am sorry to say that uh, I think that's baloney and it fits perfectly fine on the convertible free motion foot set in fact it goes on a free motion convertible foot set for the 1600 which is essentially the same as the one for all the other high shank AccuFeed machines I have been using this toe 
on my machine for two years now and I've had no problems with it. I explained how I was using it, showed the pieces to my local Janome dealer and he said he saw no reason not to use it in this manner even if the package said 1600 foot set. The reason it says 1600 foot set is for because this is designed for putting on a machine uh, quilting frame and using it like a long arm. And we don't want to bother with that frame. We like moving the quilt and not the machine. And I'm just backtracking around this frame that I stitched earlier. I'm still using my machingers, which I think gives me extra grip on the ruler. The biggest thing I think with using the ruler toe and doing ruler work is making sure that you don't push down too hard on the ruler. I just have to backtrack. I have to backtrack enough to leave about a quarter of an inch of space for my previous stitching line. Push the ruler up against there and stitch my next line. If you just heard that little popping sound, but that was a three-year-old kissing my elbow. And it's quiet time. Go back to your quiet time spot. Say bye-bye. Go on. Yeah, here we go. You guys have the idea. I'm going to stop the video now before it gets too terribly long. And I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, this is Amy at Amy's Free Motion Quilting Adventures. Uh, you can find me on the on the internet at freemotionquiltingadventures.blogspot.com. Come and take a look. Bye-bye.